This article contains affiliate links. We will receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more Kate. The Princess of Wales and Prince William have been going against royal etiquette for years when it comes to raising their children, former royal butler Grant Harold said. The Prince and Princess of Wales have been known to be more hands-on parents than earlier generations of royals, ensuring they are present in the everyday lives of Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. Harold noted their approach is very different from the strategy the King and the late Queen followed, and it could benefit their image and their children's upbringing. While very protective of their privacy, Kate and William have increasingly brought George, Charlotte and Louis along when they are on duty. In May, Prince George even had his first taste of royal duty when he served as a page of honour at the King's coronation. He then joined his siblings on a special day out in Slough to volunteer. Speaking to Daily Express US, Harold said, It's advisable and a wise move. Not doing so would see the monarchy as archaic and old-fashioned still. It's a fine line. Anything could visibly tip the balance. So William and Kate are making sure that their image is perfect. That anything that they're doing, anything they're doing with their family, they are seen and heard. It goes against old royal etiquette, but I think they have to, they don't really have an option. They have a modern approach and they're doing a good job of making sure everything they're doing is in a modern way. The late queen was known to have a rather detached relationship with her two eldest children, and while mitigated by Princess Diana's influence, then Prince Charles also opted for a more traditional royal parenting method. Become an Express Premium member support fearless journalism read the Daily Express online, advert free get super fast page loading start 30 day free trial, but the former butler noted Kate and William have instead made sure to get their brood involved in public life from an early age instead of keeping them on the sidelines. Harold, speaking to this publication on behalf of Slingo, said, what's that saying, seen and not heard, it was very much like that certainly in the late Queen's time. But then Diana and Charles tried to involve the children more when Harry and William were young and clearly, William, without any question, has decided to take this approach with his own children. I should mention this isn't something they would have decided on their own, they would have had the support and approval of the late Queen and his father, the King.